Hello and welcome to Piano Lee. As you can see, I'm in a different place today. Wanted to change the scenery a bit, but also I'm here to answer your burning questions about how to learn the piano as an adult. I get a lot of common questions and today I'm here to answer them. And if you'd like more videos on how to learn the piano fast, I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button and the bell because I post new videos every week. And if you're interested in learning the piano with me, I highly recommend scheduling a call with one of my team members and we would help you figure out if the piano accelerator program that I offer is a good fit for you. So the link for that call is in the description below. All right, so the first burning question is, can I really learn the piano as an adult? The answer is yes. If you tell yourself that you can learn the piano, then you're gonna learn the piano. If you tell yourself that you're not able to learn the piano, then you're not gonna learn the piano. It's really that simple. There's tons of people, tons of examples of adults learning the piano. There's been tons in my music school. There's been tons that have gone through my online program. There are tons of adults who have done it. So why would you tell yourself that you cannot do it? That is an interesting question to ask yourself. So if there's evidence that other people have done it, then that is evidence that you can also do it. It's up to you. Are you committed? Do you wanna put the time in to learn the piano? If the answer is yes, then yeah, you can learn the piano. Number two, can I still learn piano on an unweighted keyboard? Will you please let me know if fill in the blank keyboard is good. So a lot of people send me their keyboards and ask me if it's good. But the truth is you only need three certain things to look for. Those three things are 88 keys. So that is the amount of keys that a full piano has. Weighted keys. That means it feels like an actual piano. If it has no weight to it, you're never gonna build a good technique. And you need a sustained pedal. But there's a little bit of nuance and a little bit of extra details to that. So I highly recommend watching this video. I go into full depth on what to look for when you're buying a keyboard. So for those asking about an unweighted keyboard, you could start on it for just a little bit, but if you can avoid that at all costs, I would avoid it at all costs. Number three, I can't play hands together or I have zero hand coordination. I think when someone is saying that is someone who has only been using YouTube to learn the piano, they don't have a teacher, or they're diving into songs that are too difficult for them. That's another problem. So hand coordination, I believe it's because you're not learning the right things in order and you don't really have a roadmap. There's no direction. Everything's just scattered all over the place. I think that's what's happening with these hand coordination people and highly likely that they're jumping into songs that are too challenging for them. But I also do have a video with hand coordination exercises that can help you. And so if you would like some exercises to help you, specific ones, I would watch this video. Number four, can you do a video tutorial on fill in the blank song? I usually do not do song tutorials on this channel, so I'm probably not the right person to ask. At least I'm not doing them at this time. Sometimes I do it, but usually not random songs. It might be a song that's pretty popular or something like that, but I usually don't do video tutorials. I have considered doing it on my Instagram, so if you would like to follow me, you can go here and check out my Instagram, but at this time I'm not doing song tutorials on there. I might one day. If you would like song tutorials from me, my students in my online program are able to play any song they would like to play, and I will give them individual feedback on how to play that song. But otherwise, I don't do it on YouTube, the song tutorials, I don't typically do it. It's just preserved for people who are in my online program, usually. What is your method for simplifying complex songs for beginners? I have a full on, training on this. So if you would like to watch my free training, definitely head to the link in the description. But basically, if you know your chords really well, you could simplify the songs that way. So I recommend learning chords first, just playing through the chord progressions of a song, learn how to jazz it up, and then learn something called lead sheets. A lead sheet is basically where you only have to read the right hand melody and your left hand plays the chords. So that is a great way to simplify complex songs and how to jazz them up and make them your own. Number six, 
How long does it take to learn piano? This is a burning question. I get this all the time. So as you guessed, the answer can vary. So if you're someone who wants to learn like a complex Beethoven piece or Chopin's Fantasy Impromptu or anything that's very, very advanced, it probably will take you over a decade at least or like 15 years. What? But before you freak out, if you are wanting to learn the Beatles, Billy Joel, anything popular, then you should be fine and be able to do it in a year or a few years. It's also gonna depend on if you practice a lot, you're gonna to have to be very dedicated to learn the piano, so you're gonna to need to practice a lot. We can't learn skills magically, so being dedicated to the instrument is gonna speed up your progress for learning the piano. Finding a teacher to help guide you on exactly what you need to learn instead of, again, like scrolling around on YouTube all the time. Find some teacher to help you learn and that's gonna be the best way to do it. This is another burning question. How do I know what to practice? So people often ask me, I have no idea what to even do when I sit down at the piano. I do have a video on this. You can watch it right here. I also have a practice planner that goes into this and it helps you set goals for practicing and what to do when you're at the piano. But basically, if you summed it up, just practice a few scales, practice chords and all their inversions, some arpeggios, that would be all of your warm-ups right there. Then I would practice one to three songs at a time and when you sit down, actually be productive when you're practicing. So for example, unproductive practice would be starting at the beginning of the song and practicing all the way to the end. And then starting at the beginning of the song and practicing all the way to the end. The best thing to do is to take it in small chunks. So for example, you could tell yourself, okay, today I'm just gonna learn the verse of Let It Be. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep practicing the verse until I've got it. And the next day you might could be like, okay, now I'm gonna learn the chorus of Let It Be. And all I'm gonna do is learn the chorus. Focus on little chunks until you've got it, until you've learned the whole song. But please stop going from the beginning to the end. It's so unproductive. This is another burning question. How long should I practice? The answer to this is it's more important to show up. So if you showed up to the piano every day, even if it was just 10 minutes, it'd be a lot better than showing up at the piano on Sunday for a few hours or one day of the week for a few hours. Why? Because you really need to build muscle memory when you're learning the piano. Without that muscle memory, it's gonna take forever. Okay, so this is the first thing. For how long should I practice? More important to show up every day. Another thing is when you sit down and you practice, have goals for what to practice. So for example, like I just said, scales, chords, arpeggios, and then one to three songs. So have a purpose, set goals. That way when you sit down to practice, you're productive and you're not just bopping around doing all kinds of random stuff. That's not gonna make you learn the piano if you're not productive when you actually sit down. Now as for how long, I tell my students to focus on the goal that they created. So for example, if they're wanting to learn the C major scale, the G major scale, and the D major scale, then they're gonna focus on only those scales and then they're gonna focus on three songs. So maybe they wanna learn Let It Be by The Beatles, Imagine by John Lennon, and Piano Man by Billy Joel. So let's say they wanted to learn just those three songs. Focus only on those three songs. That's your goal. Focus in on small chunks at a time when you're practicing, not the entire song. What I'm trying to say is it's more important to focus on the goal instead of how long. Now, if you want a more straightforward answer, anywhere between 10 minutes and an hour or more, just show up every day and that's gonna be the gold. Number nine, can I learn from you? Yes, if you want to learn from me, you can. I have an online program called The Piano Accelerator. So if you want to learn from me, I highly recommend booking a call with one of my team members just to see if it's right for you. If it's not right for you, we'll just tell you and point you in another direction. Number 10, and if I learn from you, what's the value? How can I trust you? So if you learn from me, what's the value? First off, you don't have to trust me. If you don't want to, that's your choice. But I will say that I've played piano since I was seven. I have a degree in piano. When I was a young 
person, younger than I am now, I started a music school and it quickly exploded. Now I have hundreds of students in that music school. I have a huge amount of staff members working in that music school. I then started my online program, The Piano Accelerator, because I wanted to impact the world and not just in my city. And I developed The Piano Accelerator with students in my music school. So I tested it on real people to make sure it actually got results. I developed the program based on my experience with adult music students and seeing that they got frustrated from the regular method books that teachers typically use. So I think you could trust me in that I've developed a program based on testing it on real people. And I've gotten to test it on lots of people because I have a music school with hundreds of students. And yeah, but you don't have to trust me if you don't want to. And to answer what's the value in working with me, again, you could work with any piano teacher besides me, that's your choice. But my online program, The Piano Accelerator, it is geared very specifically for adults who want to learn popular music, who want to learn from lead sheets and play their favorite songs and be able to jazz up their favorite songs in their own creative ways. So if that's something that interests you, the program's very specific. It's just a straight path to playing your favorite songs instead of having to do what most teachers do, which is like give them method books and have them playing songs they hate for a very long time. All right, the last question is, what is your dog's name? Just kidding, you didn't ask me that. But this is Chloe and she is the piano -y mascot and she's always here behind the scenes while I'm filming. So you might as well see her now. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments, what are your burning questions? And I might just answer them in the next video. All right, and before you go, don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe because I post new videos every week on how to learn the piano fast. And I will see you next time.